you're listening to uh, me, I guess. So I, uh, I escaped. I got out of the station. I don't know how long ago that was, but it was after the last show when the station wasn't the station isn't real when the show isn't on. I know that doesn't make sense, but it's how it works. I don't know. I just I don't know how. After the last show, I didn't let it put me back to sleep. I fought. I stayed awake. I found a map and it was old, and there was something scrawled on it, but I took it, and I waited. I don't know how long I'm waiting for the station to... recorporate, I guess. <laughs> when I saw it doing that, I got up, and I ran. I just ran, but when I got out, we were already... I turned back, and the station was gone. And I was in the nothing. I, uh, I took the wireless mic with me, so hopefully this is all being recorded. I don't know where I am, if I'm anywhere. If I'm even still alive. I don't remember anything from before. Not about who I used to be, not about anything. I... God, I don't even remember my name. I dreamed about it, I think. At least abstractly, whenever, whenever I got some sleep. I don't know what happens when I go to sleep, but... I wake up with scars on my body more and more each time. They're not cuts or anything like that though, they're, they're just, they're just lines that go into my flesh. They don't bleed, they don't scab, they just go down into me, black and empty on the inside. I escaped the station, at least. It wasn't easy, I, it was, it was like a maze or a labyrinth. I, I was chased by something, something on four legs, and I hid, but I, I can't remember if it caught me. Then there were these bugs, this swarm, and I... I d if that voice hadn't woken me up, the one that does the numbers, if I hadn't recognized it all that time ago, I just... I don't even know from where, I just know I knew it. Maybe I'd have been better off stuck there. Still reporting. Who knows what happened to it. If there even were people before me. I, I just don't know anything. I don't understand anything. Why did they need me? Why did they pick me? Was I, was I on a list, or was it just random? Why pull me to the station? Why me? Listen, if you can hear this, if anyone can still hear this, don't let them take you. If you feel pulled somewhere in the middle of the night for whatever reason, don't go. It's a trap. Don't go. Don't go to the station. Don't go to the station. It's coming back. It's, it's coming back to wherever I am, wherever it usually is. Where It's flickering back, but I can see it's... It, They're broadcasting, but why? How? I'm not in there. There's no one. In oh no. There's someone.
someone in there. They've already got someone else. Oh god. Get out of there. Get out before this happens to you. Don't report for them, please. Don't get out. Just get out. They're going to keep you there forever if you don't get out now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Please, get out. Well, listeners, the voices on the station floor means we've come to the end of tonight's show. As always, you're listening to the Midnight Minute. And for the very first time, I wish you good night. And may you stay safe until the next full moon.